So welcome back to Gnarly Chicken. Just thought I'd do a quick little walk around on my latest purchase, 2017 Beta RR Race Edition. Uh, 120 hours. A buddy of mine actually owned it since basically new. Let's put some nice kit on it. Rad guards, pipe guard, AXP skid plate with the linkage protection, which is a handy thing. You put swing arm uh, guards on it. Rear shark fin, and also a matching front brake rotor. All bulletproof design stuff, including the rad guards, which is good equipment. Protector over the ignition cover, protector a, a recluse uh, clutch cover, and uh, it's pretty clean. Street plated, brand new chain and sprockets, uh, Seker wraparounds, Midwest Mountain Engineering clutch lever, which I'm looking forward to trying. And the nice option here is this uh, Baja Designs LED light kit, which uh, I took off last night when I brought it home to have a look at things. Super bright nighttime driving light. I've got the same one on my KTM 500. So that's it for now. More to come. Looking forward to it. Good morning. Welcome back to the Nerdy Chicken. So uh, I picked up a 17 and uh, found that there was uh, some voltage issues with the battery. It's uh, running at 12, 12, 2. Um, or sorry, it's giving a charge around 12, 2, but it's running at around the same. It should be up around 14 volts when it's running. So. I am in the process right now of basically two things, taking the bike apart, learning where everything goes. This is my first beta, 2017 300RR, and unlike my KTM, um, which I completely rebuilt, this is a new bike, so I'm learning as I go, plastic, screws, where everything go, license plate, lights, tail lights, the blinkers were totally shot. Um, there actually was water coming out of these receptacles. The blinkers themselves, wiring going to the blinkers were completely shaved off. Um, the previous owner did put dielectric grease on these fittings. I've since taken them all apart, cleaned them, cleaned all the grease off, contact cleaned them and added just a tad bit to my liking of grease. So. I'm uh, in the process of basically tracing wires uh, down to the stator and also to the ground on the other side. And I'm hoping that the ground on this side might be the culprit. Right down here. I'm hoping I just need to take that off and clean it. Um, and that'll solve the problem. If not, we'll have to go to plan B, which is check the stator, or the uh, rectifier, and see what might be happening there, if anything, but it should be fine. The bike's got relatively low hours on it, and the previous owner took very good care of it. This is just uh, letting stuff go over, you know, the course of three years. I tend to take mine apart every year and clean it all and look for any problems. Hence the other reason why it's nice to have a clean bike. So. Probably do a top end this winter. It's got 120 hours on it. Um, I'm gonna take the carb off here shortly. So I've already taken the swing arm apart. And I'll lift that off, take the carb off and give it a clean. Do a coolant flush. Chicken should be coming out shortly. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. I haven't really driven the bike yet. I got rid of the CR250R, um, sold it to the first person that came to look at it and uh, acquired this. So more to come.